so many trades, so many free agent signings, I can't keep up with it. Let the craziness begin. What's up guys, Andrew Pillick Sports here, and I'm back with another video, and this one's going to be a lot of fun. It's the NHL Draft Preview. I'm really excited, I don't know if you can tell, but I think all NHL fans can agree with me. It's like Christmas, like literally this is Christmas for me, the draft, free agency, all the trade talk, everything that's happening is so awesome. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Let's talk about top two picks. Of course, the Toronto Maple Leafs have the number one overall selection in the draft this year. Who are they going to take? Is it going to be Austin Matthews? Is it going to be Patrick Laine? I'm pretty sure it's not as close as people think, and I'll explain why. I think Austin Matthews is the missing piece that the Leafs have needed for a long time. They haven't had a franchise centerman since Matt Sundin. They have to pull the trigger and grab Austin Matthews. Now, that's no disrespect on Line A because he's a crazy talented player, but I don't think it's even close. I think the Leafs have to pick Matthews, and I think it's just the best option for the team. They need a centerman. We have wingers. We uh, Here I am talking as a biased Leaf fan again. The Leafs have wingers, okay? Line A is great, but he fits more into the Winnipeg Jets mold. Like, who knows the next time the Leafs are going to fall upon a franchise centerman in the NHL draft, if they're even going to have a chance to pick at number one, because I hope we get really good really soon. Come on, Lou, make some more deals. That's besides the point. But I just think that Austin Matthews is going number one. It's just the best option for the Leafs. Now on to the number two pick, the real winners of the draft, bumping up, like, what was it, five spots? The Winnipeg Jets. Weren't they supposed to pick, like, seventh or something like that? Then they ended up picking number two. It, it's crazy. Like, it was, like, six or seven. I, they moved up. It's <laughs> They got so lucky with those lottery balls. Them picking Patrick Laine is pretty obvious at this point. Matthews and Laine are going 1-2. And this guy is going to score so many goals. Oh, my God, Patrick Laine. He is so talented. He's a big guy. He's going to score lots. He's going to make Winnipeg good very fast. Just like Matthews, he's going to make a pretty good impact. Maybe not a huge impact, but the both of them are going to do some, some pretty good damage to uh, the NHL next year. Watch out, goalies. You got two more snipers coming at you. I know Line a wants to go number one, but I think at this point Toronto's already got their guy at number one in Austin Matthews. I, I love his confidence. Maybe there's a little bit too much confidence there, but he's, he's probably going number two. And now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. The number three, four, and five picks. And, and maybe even pick number six. Like, th this draft is pretty interesting. Now, I've heard from a couple people on Twitter and YouTube and Sportsnet and all over the place that pick number three and number four are probably in play a little bit. Not like all out in play, but they're listening to offers. Pick number three belongs to the Columbus Blue Jackets who also moved up in the NHL draft lottery and the Edmonton Oilers. And it's kind of funny, right when they picked number four and then I seen that they were thinking about trading to pick them, like this is this the Oilers going, hey, if, if we're not picking number one, we're just trading it. Anyways, these picks are interesting because I don't think that Columbus is going to move their pick and I don't think at this point that Edmonton's going to move their pick anymore. So here's another thing I'd like to bring up. Jesse Puyarvi, he's injured. You know, there's a couple things that they're looking at with him right now. I think he's still ready to get into the NHL next year, but he's going to miss a little bit of camp from what I've heard. I'm not too sure if this affects his draft stock. A lot of people are saying it does nothing, but what if he does drop to number four? I think Edmonton just dashes right to the podium and goes, Hey, Jesse Pugliarvi, come to us. And then we get to Edmonton. If they do keep their pick as well, who are they going to pick? They need a defenseman. Are they going to move down? Are they going to pick? Because if they pick, it could be Jesse Pugliarvi, like I said, if the injuries actually do force him to drop to the number four spot, which probably won't happen. But... I think a lot of people think Matthew Tuchuk is going to get picked at number four. I think that he will too, because I, I kind of feel like the top four is already set at Matthews, Line A, Pliarvi, and Tuchuk, but you never know. Those two picks are pretty interesting. Hell, why don't we just talk about number five as well? The Vancouver Canucks have the number five pick. Oh, Vancouver fans, I'm so sorry. It looks like you guys are actually trying to make the playoffs this year. At number five, I mean... 
they probably are going to take Jacob Chikrin if he's if he's available. And again, all the all the names are being thrown around that maybe Pierre Luc Dubois gets picked at number five, which actually is my kind of off the. It's not really off the board, but I think that Vancouver is going to take Dubois. Now, a lot of people may not agree with me, but I, f you know, Chikrin's pretty good, but Dubois just seems like a lethal scorer. But we'll have to see what happens with Vancouver. I mean, this draft is going to be crazy good. And we haven't even got into the trade talks, my favorite part. There is going to be a lot of deals during the NHL draft. That That's just my prediction. I mean, I'm not just a biased fan who really wants trades. Please get a lot of trades. Please, lots of trades. I like trades. It's fun. You get to watch the draft, see who gets picked and all the backstage stuff and everything. But you gotta love when you see Batman go up there. I know, seeing Batman go up there, it's a little far-fetched to say you love it. But when he says, I have a trade to announce. And then you sit there and you're going, oh, oh my god, is it, is it my team? Did, did, I, did my team make a trade? Is it Batman? Is it, is it me? Is it my team? It's fun. So many names are getting thrown out there. Kevin Shattenkirk. Pete. K. Subban? Or seriously, I don't think so. Yevgeny Mal Malkin? M Malkin? S Subban? Okay, those two guys are not getting moved. I'm sorry, they're just not getting moved. Shattenkirk? Yeah, I can see him getting moved. I, I seen a tweet that said he's like pretty much 95% sure he's getting traded, which is kind of cool. I like seeing trades, so I'm totally okay with that. Then you got some teams that are looking to shed cap. Trying to get some prospects, some draft picks, some shuffling of draft picks, going up, going down. It, it's just craziness, and it, it's going to be so much fun. I love seeing all the trade talks. So many names are getting thrown out there for trade talks. It, it's, it's so crazy, but I love it. So many people. Rick Nash, Derek Steffen. Then you got the people who are trading rights to their contracts, and... You know the Leafs, my boy Lou. I see you, Lou. You're going to do something for me, Lou. I know you're going to do something for me, Lou. I love that guy. Thank you for bringing him here, Shanahan. Thank you. Again, the draft is going to be so much fun. There's so many people out there that's going to be watching the draft, looking for trades, looking for everything. It's going to be a fun time. 7 o'clock on Friday night, I'll be watching round 1, and then Saturday, 10 a.m., for rounds two through seven I believe. Thank you guys for watching this video. Wanted to do this NHL draft preview for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave your comments in the comments section uh, what you think is going to happen on the draft day. With that being said I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.